My arms are swinging up and in. Up and in. They're not trying to follow this straight line backwards. They're not going low and away. They're swinging up and in. You can do this anywhere, at home, on the practice tee, wherever you want to. I'll show you, um, as we use the inclined plane board, how much um, sense that really makes. But now, I'm on the practice tee. I would love to see people out there on the practice tee working on their, their swinging motion of their arm swinging back, up, and in. Forwards, in and up. Back, up, and in. Forwards, in and up. I could hit golf balls till the cows come home and you could not see it. The format of this camera is that it's two-dimensional. It does not catch depth. And that's probably one of the biggest things that I find has slowed down the learning process of modern-day golfers. Is we see things on that camera, but they're not really happening. We'll show you again later on in the video. But this is how I practice just my arms. Okay, I'm going back up and in, forwards in and up. That's my arm swing. I get used to doing that. Okay, so that takes care of the second linkage. We did the hands, we did the arms. Now we're going to do something with the body, but we're not going to do a whole lot with the body, and I'll tell you why. Maybe the biggest difference between what I'm saying and what the conventional golfing world is saying at this time is I'm suggesting that it's the club, hands, and arms that move the body. It's not the body that moves the club and the hands and the arms. So therefore, I'm saying the body is reacting to what I'm doing. It's not acting, it's reacting. Now this makes things easier because if you can control the hands and the arms, you have full control over the body. But that's not to say that we shouldn't do some kind of practice with it. But the first thing to do is have the understanding that it's a quiet body. I don't get very much power from my body. 3% 3 of the speed that I create comes from the speed of my body. So that's not very much. Once that's understood, I think it allows you to not want to move it so much. So it's not a bad idea to hit some golf balls just feeling how quiet the body is. Just relaxing the center and letting the hands and the arms swing the center. Hard to see on camera because you can see my body moving. Easy for a writer to say, his body moving, therefore he must be moving it. Well, it's not true. It's reacting to what I'm doing. So still, not a bad idea to go to the practice tee and hit maybe another 10 balls just to feel how quiet this is. To learn that it's not supposed to move all over the place, that it reacts to my swing. Okay, that's my body. Ten balls each time, that's all you need. You don't need even, you probably don't even need ten, but it's not a bad idea that every time out you go through the same order to get the brain really organized because that's how we're going to get our sequence and that's how you're going to get past saying, geez, I forgot, I forgot. What I guess that I'm asking you to do today is probably less than driving a standard car, but it's got to be organized. Okay, the next thing that I want to work on here a little bit is the sequence of the golf swing. You see, I've got some moving parts here, and they have to be sequenced correctly. I have my hands, my arms that are attached to my body. Where a lot of people go wrong in their swinging motion is they get the sequence between the arms and the body incorrect. Well, I want to show you what it is, and then I want to tell you how to do it. You're going to see, for example, out on tour, you've got Tom Kite, you've got Phil Mickelson, David Frost, Corey Pavin, a lot of these guys, Peter Jacobson, you're going to see them taking practice swings where they're going to leave both feet on the ground, they're going to swing through the golf ball, and then you're going to see that back foot come. Then the back foot's going to come up. Now, I can't tell you that I know for a fact, but I'd be willing to... Uh, place a small wager that a lot of them are doing this because they recognize that their swings are great. The only thing that really ever goes wrong with their swing is it gets out of sequence. Sometimes they get their body moving before their arms start dropping. Now the correct sequence of events is when the arms come down first, pass the ball, then the body follows. 
So these guys are over-exaggerating the move to learn it, which is never a bad idea when you're trying to learn something. So head to the practice tee, get your sequence of events correct. The arms go up, they drop down, then my body comes. They go up, they drop down, then my body comes. So I'll hit a few balls like that for you. Then my body's going to come. You can see when I go full speed, it's almost, if not impossible, to see. Uh, so it's pretty hard for those eyes to detect it. So I have to kind of tell you verbally what I'm actually doing. And then maybe you got a chance of seeing it. Arms through. Then I follow. Then I follow. That's the sequencing on my swing. So there I go to the practice tee and I've done that. So, so far I've taken care of what my hands are supposed to do. I've taken care of what my arms are supposed to do. I took care of my body. Quiet. Then I worked on my sequence. Now I have to work on my alignments. Really, really important. Anybody that's got any of my videos, it doesn't take long before their hands are extremely well educated. They will never break again. Once they're done, they won't break again. Once you've worked on your arms for a while, they will never break again because I doubt if today you have asked your arms to do anything that they didn't obey you at. So why all of a sudden do you think they're not going to obey, obey you when you swing a golf club? Once they know where to go and it's correct, then they'll always try or they will always go there. You see, the thing that's going to happen with your golf swing more than likely, if you have any of my videos, is that your alignments are going to get out. Now, once your alignments get out, then you can really feel your swing deteriorate. But it's not your swing. It's that your alignments are out, so the levers and the hinges can't work correctly. Okay, there's a tip for you. It's the alignments. Something that has never been told to people enough. I call my hips my master aligners. When I get my hips correct, that leaves a great place for my arms to go. When my hips are incorrect, it's very hard for my arms to go where they're supposed to. If I had my way with all videos and magazines, golfing-wise, I would take the word feet out of there and I'd replace it with hips. Too many people are obsessed with their, where their feet are going and they don't understand or know where their hips are going. If I take care of the middle, I will take care of all the rest. If you get your feet in correctly, it does not mean that your hips are in correctly. Next time you go to a practice tee, you watch people's hips. They'll be standing there and their feet will be straight, but their hips will be way over there and they wonder why they slice it or pull it. Their hips are going way over there. Say, so don't neglect that in your golf swing. It should not take long doing what I've asked you to do to get your golf swing very good. But you've got to take care of your alignments. Rule of thumb, when you get used to it, I set into the golf ball and I'm always making sure that my left thigh is ahead of my right thigh. If that is the case, you can just about be guaranteed that you're in a square stance which allows the swing to work. Once the hips get open, it gets very hard, if not impossible, for the swinging unit to work correctly. Okay, 10 balls again just working on alignments. Check this club out. When I stand here normally, it's going quite a ways left. And it feels very comfortable to me. I have no trouble doing this. It feels pretty good, actually. But I've got to pay attention. When I do this little motion, get my left thigh ahead of my right thigh, all of a sudden I'm in line. So eventually, you might see me do this on a golf course. Once I'm ready to play, I just make this subtle motion. And again, that camera can't see it, not from this angle. It can't see the depth. But I've taken it and I move my left thigh ahead of my right thigh. That gives my arms a place to swing. Okay, 